13 Going On 30 gifted us many wonderful things. Among great comedic performances by Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner and Krista B. Allen, the latter of whom played a young Jenna Rink. But what has actually happened to Allen since the iconic rom-com hit theatres? Obviously, 13 Going On 30 was Krista B. Allen's big break, but it was also her very first role in Hollywood. As noted in a 2011 interview with College Magazine, the actress grew up as the youngest in her family with a whopping eight older brothers. Allen admitted she's closer to some than others, but confirmed that her family is very close regardless. Although she's worked her whole life, the starlet is open to going back to college at some point. She said, I don't know what I want to study because I love everything. Eventually, yes. Yes, I want a degree. Although she shows no signs of stopping yet, Alan is clearly open to creative endeavors other than acting. As she told Wonderwall in 2012, one particular summer she quite literally ran off to join the circus. She explained, I'm a lover of life, so that opportunity presented itself and I found myself on some trapeze and trying to juggle. In keeping with her gratitude for the role of a lifetime, Alan would later return to the character of Jenna Rink five years after 13 Going On 30 premiered, in a manner of speaking. In 2009, she starred as a young Jennifer Garner once more in the kooky comedy Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. On the red carpet for the movie, Alan gushed to showbiz junkies that it was amazing to get the chance to play a young Garner again. The actress said she was thrilled people still associated the two of them with each other, and even admitted that strangers would often come up to tell her just how much she looks like Ghana. And if people say that I look like her, then that's good enough for me. I mean, she's an amazing person and I just love her to death. In the behind-the-scenes documentary feature 13 Going On 30, Making of a Teen Dream, director Gary Winnick explains that Alan was originally cast because of her awkwardness, as well as her startling resemblance to Garner. Garner noted that Alan looked exactly like her when she was a teenager. Exactly, to a T. Just like there was more of me than I knew what to do with, but I was this big. Alan herself humbly notes that she kind of looks like Ghana, but the black and white nature of the photos of Ghana as a kid made it hard for her to judge. Alan's first big role following 13 Going On 30 was in the sweet kids show, Cake. Appearing as the titular Martha Stewart-style teenager who hosts a cable access show with her two best friends, the young actress's natural charisma once again became center stage. In the series, three young ladies work to show viewers at home how to DIY like a pro. Looking back, the series could arguably be seen as a precursor to Nickelodeon's juggernaut iCarly, which features two female best friends doing wacky comedy bits on their own web show. Cake ran for just one season, locking in at a total of 13 episodes. Speaking to Refinery29 in December 2013, Alan admitted that she does in fact share similarities with legendary businesswoman Martha Stewart. In her interview, she said, I love to DIY. I'm like a little Martha Stewart. I like finding old furniture that has good bones, you know? Then you go to Mood Fabrics and pick out something. And if you have a staple gun, you can pretty much re-upholster anything. Although her breakout role was in a Hollywood movie, Alan found her place after that on television. Aside from leading the charge in Cake, the actress also appeared in shows such as Medium, ER, and CSI Crime Scene Investigation, among many, many more. Speaking to Refinery29, Alan admitted that she loved working so consistently on TV. She explained, Oh Lord, being an employed actor in Hollywood is nice. In her interview with College Magazine, she credited her 13 Going On 30 role with teaching her a lot of what she knows about the acting business. She said, I didn't know what was going on around me. I was just there to have fun. At 12 years old, you just want to have fun. And so I did. It taught me a lot and gave me a good setup for the rest of my career. The year 2011 signaled another big moment for Krista B. Allen when she joined the cast of the soapy program Revenge. On the series, she played the misunderstood Charlotte Grayson, who would go on to become a favorite for fans of the show. I'm sure this is already a pretty sad day for you since my father's case has been reopened. Undoing all that hard work you did years ago. It was a particularly meaty role for the actress, who took to her new position on the ABC hit with aplomb. Speaking to College Magazine about the show's overarching appeal, she noted, We're all people on this earth going through similar experiences. It's worth opening up to and realizing we're all in the same boat together. We're not alone. I think that's why people are drawn to revenge. There's a character and an experience that everyone can relate to. In her interview with Refinery29, Alan gushed about the cast, crew, and 
positive atmosphere on the set. She said, It's nice to be a part of a show where I feel like we have a really collaborative environment. I can always have input on the show and the character, so you always feel like you're working. It's not like something is just thrown in front of you and you have to act this, you know? You can have input. In November 2014, Deadline announced that Alan would be taking a role in another hot television show, the hit sitcom Baby Daddy. The publication confirmed Alan would join the fourth season of the ABC Family series as Robin, a colleague of Chelsea Kane's character Riley in the law firm. Alan's Robin hits it off with the dreamy Danny after getting set up on a date, much to her work buddy's chagrin. I like you, Danny, but nobody tells me who to be friends with. So, we're still friends? Yeah, no. In March 2015, after playing the supporting character on the show, Alan gushed to TV Line about how nice it was to go to work and just laugh after the darkness inherent in revenge. In particular, she noted the big food fight between her and Kane's characters, which took place during the cliffhanger spring finale as a highlight of her time on the show. Krista B. Allen met boyfriend Johnny Watt, a producer, director, songwriter and musician, while working on a music video for his band, Braves. The song was 2016's Me the Thief and Allen was the star of the video. As noted in a Billboard interview with The Happy Couple, it took them another year after their meeting to start dating. And once they did, they birthed a new creative project. Watt told Billboard that he got the idea to collaborate after hearing Allen singing in the shower, deciding then and there that they needed to work together. He recalled, I was like, oh man, she has a really powerful voice. I saw immediately an opportunity to create a really cool project. Alan herself noted, We were both waiting for the right moment to pop the question. We both wanted to do it, and then one of us finally one night asked, Should we do it? Should we write a song together? When she wasn't making music, Alan went even darker than revenge with TV movie The Queen of Sin. Speaking to AXS in April 2018, Alan opened up about what the project meant to her. She said, It's another controversial piece and an incredible film experience I had in Montreal toward the end of last year. I've never shot a movie that was this edgy. The young woman I play in the film is very timid and insecure, but she develops a very strong and sexy alter ego identity with an interest in BDSM. On the changing tide about sexual expression in the entertainment industry, and in particular regards to a controversial music video by her band Poor Vu in which she had performed naked, Alan noted, It's cool to see people are embracing these things more and it's becoming less taboo. You see people clutching their pearls when they watch our music video, but how many millions of those same people are devoted fans to Fifty Shades of Grey? It's not all that different, and I'm excited that people are starting to embrace it more. Another one of Alan's projects, the Lifetime TV movie When Vows Break, is also a big departure from Alan's past role in 13 Going on 30. The movie features Alan as Ella, a woman in an abusive relationship who plots to marry her longtime partner and then ditch him for good while they're away on honeymoon. Naturally, the plan doesn't go off without a hitch, and she soon finds herself fighting for her life. As she once explained in an interview with Galore, acting for Alan is all about having faith in the strength of the project. She explained, You are chosen to play a character. You hope that character is consistently written well. You show up, do your best, and then hope your performance is edited favorably. Alan's active and honestly quite gorgeous Instagram account showcases her infectious zest for life. Whether she's doing hardcore aerial workouts or the hashtag 10-year challenge or promising her younger self things would get better, Alan's brand is pretty much always on point. And one of her biggest passions in life, aside from performing of course, is travel. Some of the stunning shots on her Instagram showcase the actress chilling on a cliff in Arizona, on a beautiful beach in Mexico, and amid the stunning scenery in Hawaii. When Wonderwall asked her in 2012 where she'd like to visit, the actress revealed that India sits at the top of her list of her must-visit places. 13 Going on 30 may have premiered years ago, but for Krista B. Allen, nothing will ever compare to her first acting job. In a January 2019 interview with Today, the actress noted that the film is still popular because it has incredible mass appeal. Allen revealed that people even often reference the movie's phrase 30, flirty and thriving with her. She also shared her enthusiasm for pop star Ariana Grande's Thank You Next music video, which references 13 Going on 30 alongside several other rom-com classics.
Apparently, the most difficult part of filming the movie for Alan was learning the thriller dance because of her lack of coordination. But acting opposite Ghana was a dream. Alan recalled, She was the same then as she is now. I think she has this persona of being very sweet and kind and welcoming, and she was that then, and she is that now. Back then, Ghana advised her to always have a life outside of her career, lest she find it hard to play other characters. Given how full Alan's life appears to be with acting gigs, music, and everything, else, the older Jenna Rink would surely be proud of how her younger counterpart has turned out. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stories are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.